Hello, my name is Oleg, and I'm a developer on the Visual C++ team. I wanted to cover in more detail an interesting feature added some time ago to Visual Studio 2022 version 17.4, Development Container Support. A Development Container, Dev Container for short, is a container made for working on a specific repository. The container has all the tools, settings, and libraries needed to build the projects of the repository, and when the container is created, the source code is mounted inside of it. Every developer of the project will have the same build environment without having to perform any additional installs. For this demo, I'm going to use Docker Desktop installed on my Windows machine. Visual Studio also lets you create a dev container on WSL or on a remote Linux machine, and I'll demonstrate these options as well. Development containers in Visual Studio are supported for C++ projects that use CMake presets. I'm going to open a CMake project that has a dev container configuration file. This file is located in the .devcontainer folder at the root of the repository. It's this devcontainer.json file. And when Visual Studio sees this file, it will show a prompt offering to open the folder inside of a dev container. So I will click and let's see what happens when Visual Studio reopens the project in the container. Uh, Visual Studio will show the progress in the output window. Docker is creating the container and it will mount the files into it. When this is done, the project configuration will continue as usual and then everything will be ready. Since the source code is mounted inside the container, any change that I make to the files will automatically be seen inside the container. And when the CMake configuration is ready, you can build the project by using the build menu. So let's wait for the CMake configuration to finish. And once it's ready, the build all button will be available. There it is. I will click the build all and the output window will show the progress of CMake building the project in the container. Visual Studio also lets you run tests inside the container. Remote testing is extensively covered in another video, so I won't spend too much time on this feature. But I just wanted to highlight that this functionality is available in the dev containers as well. As soon as the project was built, all CMake tests will show up in the Test Explorer window and you can run them from the IDE. So the same test demo, the source code of it, is located in the CPP file. If you don't have Docker Desktop installed on your Windows machine, you can choose a WSL instance or even a remote Linux machine as the target host for the dev container. The setting is located here. Tools, Options, Cross-Platform, Dev containers. You can choose WSL or if you have previously used the connection manager to add an SSH connection to a remote Linux machine, it will show up in this drop box. I hope that you found this video useful and thank you for watching.